once again, did you honestly think that your games are going to work on me? I'm more switched on than I have ever been. And I know exactly what you are trying to do. You try to get inside my head and my heart. Toy with me in some way or another. In the hopes that that would make me cave and jump to your beck and call. Are you mad? Or better yet. Don't answer me that question. I'll answer it for you. Yes. You're fucking mad. And those of you that persist on chasing me, thinking that I'm going to jump to your back and call, you're mad as well. You're deluded and in, de in denial. I don't, don't have time for bullshitting people, man. And I sure as hell don't have time for past connections that have the brass neck. and a set of steel balls to keep on trying to pursue me when I'm clearly not interested it's funny how us men when we are in our prime past female connections come forward right all of a sudden show an interest it's bullshit I see through it I'm not as stupid as I look. And to put it frankly, I'm not interested in what you're trying to sell. I know when I'm actually being toyed with in here and in here for nothing more than a spiritual and psychological attack and an attempt to lock me down within a relationship that I am not interested in. So why do each and every one of you feel the need to keep on playing these games when you already know that the game is up and you have lost? It's ironic that you always come crawling back for your golden ticket when he's clearly not interested in what you're trying to sell. I don't take kindly to past connections, female connections, that have the brass neck that come forward in the attempt to pursue me again after throwing me under the bus a first time and a second time and a third time get the fuck out of here you are going to reap everything that you sow it's the same with you know the um, the fake happiness and the fake joy that people wear Oh, I have a new partner now. I'm happy. I'm this. I'm that. <laughs> Who are you kidding? You're chatting shit. If you were truly happy, then answer me this question. Why are you still stalking my every move? Why are you trying to get inside my head and my heart to figure me out? And why... Won't you leave me the fuck alone? Because you're not happy. You are miserable as fuck. And you have to try and put that inside of my head and my heart. In, in the attempt to lure me back into your games. No, not happening. And if you want to continue this on, like I said... Uh, said even, I will take the law into my own hand. 
and I will take a, uh, a restraining order out against you even just to prove a point that I'm not interested and I don't give a shit about you I really and truly don't give a shit about you gone are those days I once gave a shit about you and look what happened you threw me under the bus thinking that you were big and funny and this and that at the given moment with your so called other boyfriends laughing it up it's ironic now that you know each and every one of you have been hit by the freight train and you keep on crawling back it is done whatever connection you thought you had is over you fucked it up by thinking that you knew better that you could get better within somebody else and yet you have the brass neck like I said to try and pursue me when I'm not interested that right there is harassment I know my rights and if you want to continue, like I said, I will take this to the court of law. And I will file for a restraining order against each and every one of you. Problem solved. Maybe, just maybe, that will teach you, teach you even a valuable life lesson. Not to treat the next man that God puts within your life the same exact way that you treated me. sick and tired of the bullshit man within people the absolute fucking audacity of some people oh I'm entitled still I'm entitled you're not entitled to jack fucking shit all you're entitled to technically speaking are the shit particles that I wipe my asses with on the shit rag that I flush in the toilet that is all you're technically worth Nothing more, nothing less. The hell with it. I wouldn't even piss on any of you if you were on fire. Fuck it. There you go. How about that? I'm not warning you again. You are going to keep your distance away from me. Otherwise, I am going to make this into a civil law case and I am going to file a restraining order out against each and every one of you that feel the need to keep on luring outside mine projecting onto me 24-7 trying to get inside of this here and in here to try and figure me out what is there to figure out exactly? nothing nothing because there's nothing to figure out therefore you are wasting your time and my time that you waste is only being added on to your lifespans making you all the more older all the more miserable and all the more fucked off as well as rageful and aggressive with your own lives because you know that I'm speaking the truth. You didn't give a shit about us. In your prime. We no longer give a shit about you. In your decline. Now get your marathon shoes on. And jog the fuck on. While I still let you. And quit transgressing, quit transgressing over my boundaries. Because I am really and truly not interested. It is over. You fucked it up. With your self entitlement. And those of you fucked it up. 
by throwing me under the bus thinking you were funny, thinking that you were God's gift in the heat of the moment. Not so high no fucking mighty now, are we? The fact that the pressure is beginning to sit on each and every one of your shoulders and crush your very souls. I'm not saving any of you. I'm going to let you drown. Just like you tried watching me drown, I'm going to watch each and every one of you drown. Hey, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, right? It is what it is.